What is up, YouTube? Good again here back at with another My League rebuild. And today we are rebuilding another one of those major trades. Clint Capella to the Atlanta Hawks. Now, before the video starts, you guys know what to do. Drop a like, drop a comment down below what team you'd like to see me rebuild next. If you are new to the channel, you like the content, make sure to subscribe, but let's get right to it. I did the other side of this trade with, or the other two sides of this trade, which involved uh, Minnesota and uh, the Rockets, because obviously the Rockets ended up getting Rob Robert, uh, Robert Covington. But yeah, clearly Capella to the Hawks is uh, pretty, big deal pick and roll with trey young is gonna be pretty insane uh does it make them a better team than like what they are which they're pretty bad even though there's a guy averaging 20 and 10 there's trey young averaging 30 and 9 like like what more do they need i think i could come up with another star considering uh i don't know if john collins is gonna stay or we throw him in there or kevin herder like i'm gonna try to finesse a team uh right now i'm thinking of a shooting guard it could be a small forward even though we do have deandre hunter we have cam reddish who will continue to improve um i want to win now as opposed to later don't want to get trey young mad want him to be successful in these few seasons that he has left on his rookie scale contract make him a happy guy make him the the star of the hawks and, and continue it continue going forward uh but in the playoffs at least minimum obviously i think this team would make it next season in the video game i don't know about real life i don't know if capella may uh we'll see how how their development of their young guys goes simulating to the off season obviously not a playoff team we will have a lottery pick might use that to trade for another player Giannis mvp of course Morant rookie of the year six man dennis Kawhi leonard most improved bam and mike is the coach of the year trey young makes an all nba second team of course he is an absolute beast um but i'm pretty sure that's it deandre hunter makes an all, all rookie second team i was about to say all nba of course no playoffs 29 wins quick season stat check if you guys are interested in this half season remaining but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna simulate these playoffs the lakers are the nba champions lebron uh, uh lebron almost a triple double in those finals in five games they 4-1 the raptors the raptors actually get back there and now we go past the draft lottery up until the nba draft actually Ooh, I should check my staff signing and now it's over. Shoot. I need my training camps, especially for rebuilds. But anyway, NBA draft. We have the eighth overall pick. I'm most definitely going to trade that away. Um, and I'm going to go see if I can get myself another star to pair up with Trey Young because we don't have another star. Uh, we have Clint Capella, of course, a double-double machine, a rebounding machine. And John Collins, a 20 and 10 guy that can stretch the floor as well. So athletic can run, but I'll see what I can come up with. Kevin Herter might need to go. Uh, and I'm thinking Bradley Beal. I'm thinking Bradley Beal right now. Do I need to throw in Dwayne Dedman? I don't know. But uh, let's get rid of that contract anyways. Clear up some cap space. Uh, put in... First, we're going to put in Kevin. First, we're going to put in Kevin. Eighth pick. Kevin, eighth pick, Dwayne Dedman. What do you say? It's not valuable enough. Uh, we'll give you that second rounder. I'll give you another. I'll just keep throwing in second rounders and then eventually I'll throw first. Uh, obviously, if we get him right here, we'll make the playoffs next season. So it's not going to be worth that much. Unprotected. Nope. Okay. We might have to throw in one of our, our better guys here. Maybe a DeAndre Hunter. Hunter or, uh, of course, Cam Reddish. So throw one of these guys in and we'll see what happens i'll see what happens here it's not gonna happen i might have to throw in two guys uh which will most definitely make them say yes bruno fernando could be a nice backup big but does he ha hold value he does hold value and then i'll throw in that first rounder unprotected they have agreed eighth overall pick our pick unprotected next next season cam reddish and bruno fernando for an all-star an all-star and bradley beal 27 years old 26 year old capella so we got some nice you could say vet six year vet eight year vet and then trey young uh the star of the team still now he has more options collins is gonna be nice i'm most likely gonna keep him now since i just got bradley beal like that uh teague is out of here jones is out of here kevin could be a nice backup hunter will be a nice starter at the small forward spot hopefully eventually gets better and uh uh, yeah, we go from there. 
we just used our pick it was an eighth overall pick i mean i could have easily went moved up maybe gotten anthony edwards and he would have been insane but don't always just want to move up my draft pick i used it for a player and we're gonna go ahead and take him 28 five and five wait we have money we have i'm pretty sure we have money um there's 42 million in cap hold i don't really think we need to bring anybody back so i might just get DeRozan for like a couple seasons give him the absolute most give him a player option and a no trade clause have him be our small forward until DeAndre Hunter uh gets better and then we'll go from there we'll have him for what still prime years 30 31 32 years old and and we'll be good we'll be good I could offer one to Brandon Ingram um we can't even offer him the max though uh I'll throw it in I'll throw it in. Screw it. I'll throw it in. And of course, we could use it for backups, but I think we could find some some cheaper backups. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to absolutely go with that. Uh, DeRozan agrees. So does Ingram. But I think Ingram is going to get matched. So we'll just keep it on DeRozan to agree. Renounce Jeff Teague's rights for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just had uh, Jeff Teague, 24 million. What? Okay. Anyways. DeMar DeRozan for a couple seasons. Pelicans match. Brandon Ingram. I already knew that was going to happen. We're definitely going to go. We got to renounce everybody else's rights. So it's fine. Uh, I'll keep it on Damian Jones because he's a 76 overall. We do need a backup. So if he comes back to the team, that would be great. We got ourselves DeRozan. And now this team is looking pretty sick. We got Trey Young. Who pretty much do everything. Uh, Bradley Beal. Same thing. Scoring machine can shoot the rock. So we have two shooters here. DeRozan could be that slasher. Could be that guy. Uh, you know, mid-range, more of a mid-range game than anything. Uh, and then we got Capella, a double-double machine. Collins, a stretch four, athletic big. Kevin, dope backup. DeAndre Hunter, develop him and have him be our starting small forward eventually. But we need some backups now. We need a bench. Maybe a point guard. And then after that, we uh, should be good. Um, do we have it? Oh, we do have his bird. No, wait, we don't have his bird rights. How can we afford him then? I have no idea. Gonna go ahead, give a two-year contract to Trey Burke and hope he does not get worse. He's 78 overall and, um, maybe a big and we should be good even though Damian Jones is a restricted free agent, meaning he'd probably come back on his qualif- uh, yeah, we'll just bank on that. Hope our- hope- hope Trey Burke says yes, renounce rights. Okay, looks like we gotta renounce his rights. I'd rather have Trey Burke for now. And let's go find a big. Screw it. I'm giving a minimum contract to Michael Beasley. He always seems to get better and not worse. So <laughs> welcome to the team. We'll see what happens. Of course, we need to work on our bench. That is for sure. That is, uh, is an issue right now. Player progression. Trey Young goes up to Beal goes down one already, but I think he'll continue to improve after this season. Uh, Capella goes down one. Collins goes up one. DeRozan down two already. Okay, take it easy, buds. Burke goes down one. This sucks. And Beasley goes down two. Okay, cool. Only had one training camp because I didn't go sign the best trainer. Uh, gave untapped potential to DeAndre Hunter. Made him go from an A to an A+. Plus. He's already... He's, he's, he's old. He's old in the sense of developing. He's already 22, so I want him to develop a, a bit faster. Uh, but yeah, this starting lineup is sick. I can't trade away DeRozan because I gave him a no trade clause. But I thought he'd stay around an 87. But 85, that's fine. 92, 88, 85, 85, 85, Capella. Burke... Kevin Herter, DeAndre Hunter, Bazemore, and Williams. We're definitely running a nine-man rotation. We might even go eight-man once we reach the playoffs. Maybe I finesse and try trading some of these. I want to give Beasley some minutes, to be honest. Beasley gets better during the season somehow. Um, at least he has before. I don't know if they finally changed him or whatever, but Beasley's getting minutes. We need a big, so he can play small ball. Throw him in at center, throw him in at power forward, throw him at small forward when we want to go big, I guess. Uh, but Hunter, Herder, Burke, not the worst. And the starting line, I wouldn't be surprised if we win a championship, to be honest. But we'll go from here. I'm going to change probably some coach settings. Probably sign the better coach next uh, offseason. Some crash of the run. Um, I like going play physical, and then the rest is fine for me. Neutral offensive focus. Go to our proficiency. Make sure we are on the best one. Seven seconds seems to be the best one. So that's what we'll go with. We're reaching the playoffs. I don't think we're doing any moves during the season. Unless for some reason the team is so bad that they force my hand to. But going to the end of the season. Hopefully a playoff appearance for Trey Young. Resign who I need to resign. And, and, and hopefully improve the bench. First full year of our rebuild. Giannis is the MVP. Rookie of the year goes to James Wiseman. Schroeder, again, six-man. Defense player, again, Kawhi Leonard. Kristaps, most improved. 
um did he have that bad of a that bad of a season oh okay never he went he went up eight points and a lot more rebounds man is having a year uh mike is uh the coach of the year again and does uh, our team is our team two stack now for our boy to make an all nba team it looks it looks like it is and just like that we are the number two seed i do want to look at our statistics 21 and 8 compared to his pretty much 30 and 9 season beal is scoring 20 so he goes down quite a bit as well they there's help they have help on their their, their teams now the rose in 18 uh five uh assist and 4.1 rebound so we have a pretty good passing three players right there uh capella 14 and 14 burke 12 off the bench and five well he is getting 24 minutes but that's that's really good i like that off the bench that's nice collins is getting a double double uh scoring a lot less he might be yeah he's mad i believe i should be a bigger part of the team's game plan might just sign and trade might just sign and trade him we'll see kevin's getting eight three and three off the bench uh hunter is getting 7.7 7 points and he kind of went up three overall i guess he was a 73 overall he's a 76 now we'll take that don't know if we're gonna win a championship in season number one i think we just need our youth to develop our bench to get a lot better but we get past the first round do we get past the second oh we're, this is kind of easy this is kind of easy i don't think we get past Giannis though not yet not yet they still have a solid enough team dwight howard at 78 mm, we'll see what oh. wow we didn't even stand a chance the grizz the seven a seven seed eight seven seed there's no way they win they won <laughs> Morant, you're a monster he didn't even have that great of a series shooting wise he did what the heck who's on their team Cl jordan clarkson brandon clark morant valentunas winslow jackson jr ibaka brooks Tr carmelo off their bench um well that's one of the strangest okay signed mike d'antoni to be our coach seven seconds was our best proficiency i'm guessing it's going to continue to be so why not sign the master at that demarcus cousins is a 79 overall we'll have him as a backup big and make our team that much better beasley gone everybody else gone on. cap hold i don't care about more's cap hold but demarcus is coming john collins just matches contract if someone offers him something and we're good to go we are good to go for a championship we got a nine-man rotation set hopefully demar Derozan just doesn't continue to decline and he does at least this is last season here man that was such a big fail whatever anyways Trey Young, 93 overall. Beal goes up to a 90. Capella goes up 2 to an 87. Collins goes up 1 to an 86. Maybe give him an untapped potential now. Uh, or trade him away. I don't know. Or give him an untapped potential. He has that much potential. He'll probably have more value as well. We'll see. He's signed onto a contract. DeRozan, like I said, goes down. Hunter goes up 5 from that untapped potential. Herder goes up 4, though, too. So, okay, never mind. They're absolutely ridiculous. Improving. Cousin, 79. I mean, I signed him at a 79. Uh, cool player option for next season if he puts up great numbers if he improves he's probably gonna want more money it's whatever trey burke one more season here as well so our bench might look a little bit different after this season gotta make sure i bring back kevin but yeah for this season our nightmare rotation is set unless i decide to trade away john collins of course gonna keep this team intact for this season obviously derozan is gone after this season but i mean hunter will come right in and start he'll be better than derozan uh collins he was not happy last season because he wants to be a bigger part of the offense but it's just it's not possible with young bradley beal maybe once the rosen leaves he will be part so hopefully he's not too sad this season our proficiency is insane as you guys can see almost five stars with hunter it should improve a little bit once he gets in here because um obviously the rosen not the happiest or the best at seven seconds and we'll go we'll go from there we'll go from here we got a great enough team 290s for now uh collins might reach that hunter might eventually reach that as well but we're on our way to a championship this is our second season our second full season we played half a season so we it's been like two and a half obviously the first season didn't matter or that half season didn't matter we couldn't do much but now we're just racking up wins. I'll see you guys with the number one seed uh, for sure. It has to be. Just like that, we finished with the 66 and 16 record. Trey Young is the uh, most valuable player of the league. 22 and uh, 10 assists, pretty much. Rookie of the year, Bull Bull Mo Bamba, sixth man. Anthony Davis, defensive player. Dennis Smith Jr., most improved. And Mike D'Antoni, coach of the year.
Just like that, we got a better coach. I'm just kidding. It it, ha it had to do with our players improving as well. Trey Young, of course, all NBA first. And that's pretty much it. But we did finish number one. I'm guessing we're number one in the entire entire NBA. Uh, let's go look at that. Uh, standings, not power rankers. Power rankers. Oh, can I speak? Power rankings, not power rankings. Conference standings, 66 and 16, 11 games ahead of the second seed, and then 56 and 26 over there. So 10 games ahead of those guys. Um, yeah, we're scoring 123 points a game. By far the best, by far the most, and we are allowing 109 points. Uh, by 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 a good margin, we're the we're the second best defense. Our differential is 14. We should get to the finals easily at least the finals at least minimum you guys saw trey young's numbers absolutely ridiculous 20 points for our boy bradley beal with five assists the rosen's getting 15 hunter now is getting 15 too so once he starts sorry john collins you're most likely gonna continue to be the fourth option and not be happy the good thing is we're winning which changes a few things somewhat important for him to win so he's feeling fine about everything it's not as sad as last season cousins 11 and 6 off my bench uh capella 11 and 13 herder nine points uh three assists three rebounds and then trey burke seven and three getting he's the ninth man now not the sixth man like he was last season it's just the way things go now to get to the finals please easily please come they beat us no they didn't what the heck what the heck I'm gonna simulate with I'm simulating with Simcast because it's usually a little bit more realistic. And uh I'm pretty sure it's game seven now at home. Hopefully we beat them. Simulate the next game. Yeah, it's the next round. What the heck? 2K. Wait, I didn't mean to simulate the round. I just wanted to look at the box score. Anyways, let's just keep going. Keep going. Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay then. Uh, but we're up against the second seeded team that we are up 11 games ahead of them. They ended up signing Ingram, Al Horford still there, and Bede. Rudy, wait, how? I thought maybe they got rid of Tobias Harris to bring in Brandon Ingram, but then how did they get Rudy? I'm confused. We beat them, though. We're up against a number three seed. They got Cole Anthony, D, D Russ at the two, Denny at the... Okay, they're mixed with those uh, incredibly overpowered rookies, uh, That those downloaded draft classes, man. So hopefully, hopefully we got this. 4 0 them. We're gonna go at least for no, uh, for a repeat. Resign everybody. He wins fine. Uh, he wins finals MVP. He wins MVP. He wins a championship. 22 11.5. The man is just assisting out here. Completely swept them. Let's see if we can run it back. All right, guys. So our nine man rotation is not the best right now. I'm gonna see if I can get Kadeem Allen to be our ninth man, our ninth uh, point guard. I don't need Green, so I'm just gonna see if I can throw in second rounders. I was gonna throw in a first, but. I don't think I have to here. Uh, they want to give us green. No, no, no. Just give them second rounders until they say yes. They said yes. Uh, here is our starting five. Trey Young in 95. Beal in 91. Hunter in 86 now. Collins in 88. Capella in 88. Uh, Herder is now our sixth man. 83 overall. Don't know if he should be getting that many. Min I mean, he can play shooting guard small forward, so... We'll give him 27. Cousins is our seventh man. Valentine is our eighth man. And then Kadeem Allen. Not the best bench, uh, especially with Valentine. I mean, he's a 78, but I don't know how much he's going to offer off the bench. And then Kadeem Allen. Of course, I'd like something better, but it is what it is. At the end of the season, he'll probably be a 77 or something. And then he'll be close to an 80, which he already is, but like probably an 80 for sure. Give uh, DeAndre Hunter those other two minutes. We'll go from here. See if we could repeat. If anything, we already got one championship, though. So I'm happy with that. Still got Mike D'Antoni. Still a ridiculous proficiency. I'll see you guys at the end of uh, our full season number three. 70 win record. We better win another championship. Luka is the MVP with a triple double season. Mikey Williams, rookie of the year. Theo is the sixth man. Defensive player goes to Giannis. Nico is the most improved. And Mike D'Antoni, of course, coach of the year. Trey Young does still make an All-NBA second team. He's the only one making any type of team for us. Of course, we're the number one seed. I want to see where uh, Luka finished, though. Or uh, his team fit. They finished 57 and 25. We should have still got MVP. We should have still got MVP. We're by far the best team in the entire league. We're scoring 130 points now per game. Current streak, 20 in a row. 20 in a row. Going into the playoffs. <laughs> oh my. Here are our player stats. He's getting a 25.8 and 10. He's he, okay. Give me the 
Give me the MVP award again. Bradley Beal, 22 and a half, six assists almost. Hunter is getting 19 points, five rebounds, 3.5 assists. Collins is getting 15 and eight. Is he happier now or does he think he should be scoring 25? He still wants to be more involved. Cousins is getting 14 off my bench with six rebounds, 2.2 assists. Kevin Herter, 13. Capella, 11 and 13. And then Valentine, five uh two and two and then kadeem allen three and two now we see if we could just get past this first round please please <laughs> what do you mean we're on a 20 game win streak and we lose three to an eighth seed three games to an eighth seed we're scoring 130 ga 130 points there we go that's more like it 142 to 119 on to the next who does detroit white is it frozen can I not? Oh, we have to simulate round over there on that side. Hampton, Paul, George. Okay. Uh, Money, but they got, they got some ridiculous players. They got some very ridiculous players. I don't like this at all. Simulating with SimCast every single game. I, I, I don't like it. I do not like it. Those overpowered rookies are overpowered. They're so freaking ridiculous that I hate going up against it because this happens. This is what happens. Our run is over. It's over. There's no way we beat them. They're absolutely ridiculous for no dang reason. Whoever makes these draft classes, fix them up. <laughs> fix them up. I can't. I just got to wait till next uh, 2K, I guess, because, oh my gosh, these draft classes. It's over. Anyways, we won one championship. It's over for us. Uh, three minutes. I could keep our season alive. No, I can't. No, I can't. We lose by one point. If they don't win, they didn't win. The 76ers won. Okay, we won a championship with this team. I do not want to keep going because I got to then resign a lot of players, continue to change the team up. But great proficiency, seven seconds or less. All I really did was trade away some of our youth. Cam Reddish, Bruno Fernando. For Bradley Beal. Oh, and our eighth overall pick. So an eighth overall pick, pretty much starting the Washington Wizard rebuild while we get their star in Bradley Beal. First season with Bradley Beal, we reach uh 50 something wins. Second season we reach 66. Third season 70. So definitely the start of something great. Especially with Trey Young, who will probably reach 99 or something eventually. Uh this team's ridiculous. Capella, great move for them in real life. Like I said, all I really did was trade for Bradley Beal and make the bench decent. Let me know in the comments what team you'd like to see me rebuild next. Don't forget to drop a like if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.